have not yet subscribed, you are new to this culture journey, feel free to do that now. And we will begin our journey now. So if you can't tell yet by my attire and the time of year, it is Christmas soon. So I decided to do this video about the origins of Christmas. And for those of you that celebrate Christmas, a lot of you probably know, like, the backstory. Like, you know, of course, why we celebrate Christmas. But I know there are a lot of you that don't celebrate Christmas and that would really enjoy learning more about this holiday. So, let's go! So, Christmas is actually a Christian holiday. Probably know that. But a lot of people in America, like, everyone pretty much celebrates Christmas like it's really popular and I know that it's that way in some other countries but in in some countries like just the Christians celebrate it but honestly like yeah whoever celebrates Christmas whoever wants to it's cool but yes so the origins of course are from Christianity and are it's the birth of Jesus Christ and so I am going to read that from my lovely Bible which I love. Okay, yes, I will find, let's see. So, it is written in here twice. Um, yes, and I chose the account from Luke 2. And yes, I will read chapters 1, or er, pages 1 through <sighs> Verses 1 through 20. If y'all want to go and read that later, that's awesome. And I will admit there is some important information that, like, I might go back and add, but yeah. So just, just listen and enjoy. And I'll try not to read too fast so y'all can all understand it, but yes. Have fun. The birth of Jesus. At that time, the Roman Emperor, Augustus, decreed that a census should be taken throughout the Roman Empire. This was the first census taken when Quirinius was governor of Syria. All returned to their own ancestral towns of, to register for this census. And because Joseph was a descendant of King David, he had to go to Bethlehem in Judea, David's ancient home. He traveled there from the village of Nazareth in Galilee. He took with him Mary, his fiancée, who was now obviously pregnant. And while there were, they were there, the time came for her baby to be born. She gave birth to her child, a son. She wrapped him in snug, snugly in strips of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no lodging available for them. The shepherds and angels. That night, there were shepherds staying in the fields nearby, guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared among them and the radiance of the glory, the Lord's glory, surrounded them. They were terrified, but the angel reassured them. Do not be afraid, he said. I bring you good news, that you will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David, and you will recognize him by this sign. You will find a baby wrapped snugly in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly, the angel was joined by a vast host of others, the armies of heaven praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace on earth to those whom God is pleased. When the angels had returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. They hurried to the village and found Mary and Joseph, and there was the baby lying in the manger. After seeing him, the shepherds told everyone what had happened and what the angel had said to them about this child. All who heard the shepherd's story were astonished, but Mary kept all these things to her heart and thought about them often. The shepherds went back to their flocks, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen. It was just as the angels had told them. The end. So I will stop there with the story. It is such a wonderful story though and I enjoy it greatly. It to me it shows like this is the true meaning behind Christmas. 
a lot of people get distracted by the presents and the lights and everything but yes like ultimately it's to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ and it's very that that in itself is a great reason to celebrate so I do realize that there were a few major details left out on that story and I will cover those shortly okay so we're ready to sum that up so Mary is the mother of Jesus but the father of Jesus is God so Mary became pregnant by the Holy Spirit God like came to her and he's like you know what you're gonna have the Holy Messiah you will be the mother and yeah like so that's why Jesus is like the son of man but he's also the son of God and so Joseph he was engaged to Mary at that time and at first he was like oh, what she's pregnant like this can't be happening like what did she do but yes he was gonna like break off the engagement like I, I can't be a part of that but he didn't because Gabriel the angel appeared to him and told him like dude this is the plan this is God don't turn your back on Mary great things are in store so yeah like that's that's my summed up version but yes yeah, so then yeah you know they went to Bethlehem and whatnot is there anything else oh okay so yeah, that was before, very important part there, then afterwards. See, a big thing, we like to have our nativities, which is pretty much just like the characters from this story in a little like ceramics and stuff, little setup. But we always have the wise men, which is a little bit silly because they, they weren't there when Jesus was actually born. Nobody knows exactly like how long after he was born they got there but there were wait three we don't know how many wise men there were we always say three but yes they came and they each brought him a gift gold frankincense and myrrh and yes that they worshiped jesus they were like awesome people i don't know they came to visit jesus because they saw the star that god had put in the sky it's really an amazing crazy story Honestly, if you want to like do like some more research about that, I would that would be amazing, like so neat. But um, where was I? No, really, where was I? Oh, okay, so one thing I really r realized recently was that the wise men were probably, I mean, they're wise men, they were probably pretty rich and like higher up figures where the shepherds that came and visited Jesus were not so much. I mean, they were probably pretty dirty. I mean, they were taking care of sheep, so not 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 the most rich, but I think that like they were there first. Like they're the ones that the angels invited to see Jesus. Like I think that really reflects like Jesus's ultimate purpose to like help the least of the people and like be their friend to like everybody poor and rich alike I'm sorry I'm going on about this I just I really love this story okay so yes I think yeah and we should be inspired at Christmas time to yes help and love people no matter what so I hope this inspires you and you enjoyed it to get Kenzie talking you can't stop her I'm sorry if this is like a really long video tell me if you liked the link or not like feedback love it so much like button too love that um but I was gonna say that I really would love to do more videos about holidays so if you have any specific holidays especially ones that are coming up that you would like me to talk about comment them because yes i really i want to do hanukkah sometime but like it literally like just passed i missed it maybe next year i do plan on doing one more video about christmas they'll come out next week so hopefully that goes well and i really hope you enjoyed this and learned a lot from it there is so much to christmas though so if you have any questions at all about it ask me 
I would love to answer them for you and help you understand Christmas better. And I think, I think that's it. I can stop talking to y'all so much. Even though I love you, that's, that's why I talk to you, you know, right? So, bye! Merry Christmas!